This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And happiness is mandatory. Hello and welcome to the Stanley Parable. And then Parable. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order Friend had arrived computer. on the monitor for him to follow. No, no have you abandoned up us? to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This is, as I've mentioned before, the Stanley Parable, and it is a experience, shall I say. All I can suggest is really, I'm going, only going to play through this once. And it's blind, I'll be honest. I've watched other people do it and I will not be making the same decisions as them through it. Honestly, it's spoiled by the fact that I've watched a couple of run-throughs of this. So, honestly, I'm telling you right now, if we start the day at 10 o'clock, what kind of office is this? Madness, that's what it is. But seriously, don't watch this if you have any inclination to play this game. Uh, because, honestly, any ending you watch to this game will be partially spoiled. With that in mind, we are Stanley. We can interact with things. See, we... But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. But what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell no. under his responsibility? I would... He had never been trained uh, for that. I was introducing no. the game! This couldn't go anywhere except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In hell, I can be happy forever. Narrator? I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. Help! But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, French computer, someday, stop they blinking, would arrive. please. Soon, I need you. Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Um. Well, that was a Stanley parable. Apparently waiting in here will cause that to happen. Um. Right, well, let's get out of that office then and actually... I wasn't aware it did that. That'll teach me for waffling when I should be playing, or giving warnings about not All playing it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, Ooh. he couldn't find turn a off trace computer. of his co-workers. No. I like that computer. I need to turn it back on. No. no. Employee 453 freeze computer, turn back on. Finally covered it? No. Oh, things. Can I open any of these? Nope, I can click around. Can't open that door. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Possibly true. So let's continue on then. Basically, this game is you being narrated to 
And then you acting however you like. I hate Mondays too, coffee cup. I hate Mondays. I hate every day, of course, but that's just beside the point. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The first decision. Well, actually, no, it's not, apparently, because apparently we can, we can decide not to leave the game. Let's actually go and obey the mysterious voice for now. And no, you can't go back now. Now it is too late. Bright white lights, are they windows or monitors? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you, so he that passive aggressively on other co-workers, resent co-workers not supporting you all, let it... Yes, that is the perfect way to solve... Business lights for sure, employees, everything's okay. Make sure a slide is re-grabbing the headers. Who's giving out these things? A carder, well, a hard worker. 100%. Okay. There is something in the ideas bin. One, no more bins, trash cans remain. Firing of the ideas bin. Ah! No. Flee the ideas bin. Syndra is core cool. value expenditures. Shift global market paradigm monopolized. Okay, monetize free to play. Yes, it is a plan. Quarterly pie chart profits. If I could zoom in slightly, I would like to see what the. This place is strange. Let's let's leave this room. It is oh broom closet. Maybe we can hide in there. Ah. What's in the broom closet? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But there are things in here. There's a broom. And... No, actually, there is nothing. He's going to lock me in here, there isn't he? There is nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Why do I get the feeling that I could just stay... That's probably another ending for staying there. I'm not going to find out that one. Hmm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I have no idea who my boss is. My boss is friend computer. So I'm going to disobey you, voice, and go down here. Yes. Nothing can possibly go wrong going to the basement. Where there is fire hose. And... And things. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Let me in the he car. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. To and then fair. something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, <laughs> maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked nah! down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, oh. these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Uh. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yay! This is all a dream. Yes, oh, it is. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And but he thought to himself, in the car. I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So... He imagined himself flying and began to gently float oh, above dear, the ground. Oh, dear! What the? 
Yeah. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, ah. and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Okay, now I'm After all, trapped. He knew uh... for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly Hold the on. way it's always been. You're married? It's My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Yes, we are. I'm not sure I am, but... Nah! Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Help. Well, that was possibly the standard. This parable? is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. They look and like a shadow hawk. Moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Wait. I am sane. I am <laughs> in control of this my This is gonna mind. start again, isn't it? I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. That was the Stanley parable. And, yeah. If this hasn't piqued your interest in the game, nothing will. Nothing will. Until next time.